Hello. Martin Vare. Good morning. It is uh, Wednesday. The 16th of August. Have you got me a birthday present yet? Yeah. It's my birthday coming up soon. Uh, we're at Karua. Yes, we are. It's early. It is. And we've got to start the day by flagging down the sleeper, which I just love. You ready? All the stations. Make your intent clear. It's 8.55. It's so beautiful. The yeah. train's due at 8.59. He might come in a minute early. The lovely Simon, the Canadian dude that works in the Korea Station House, says that once or twice, either people haven't made the intent clear or they weren't paying attention and, and the train just has gone straight through without stopping. Well, <laughs> so, let's, uh... so we, and we really need, we do need to be to. on this train to make our connection at Fort William, no doubt. So you've got, you've got to flag down, like, it'll be a class. Oh. YouTube, it'll be a class 60. See, this proves I'm not a train spotter. It'll, it'll be a class 60 something. 60, 66, 68. We're going to find out in a second. By the way, Korea's nice. You should come here. It's amazing. <laughs> I want him to two. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we wanted. It's a class. It's a class 73. It's a 73. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's a 73. Let's get on the land and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Maybe. There. Hello. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. How the heck are you? Never flag down a train this huge. <laughs> Only Do you little. Need to purchase tickets. We have tickets. Oh, we have you tickets. Have tickets huh? Yeah. Where are you travelling to? Uh, Fort William. Fort William. Made it to Fort William, Jacobite steam train is there. We are now about to attempt an extreme gambit. Okay, the Glen okay. Finnan gambit. The Glen gambit. Oh, it alliterates. We need to get a taxi. To the taxi. Taxi. Oh, We're definitely going to get a shot of the viaduct. Whether the train will be on it or not depends on whether we make it in time. It left 10 minutes ago. Did leave 10 minutes ago. I can see one. Oh, good. It's just ahead of us. This is where you have to, if you've missed the train at King's Cross from platform nine and three quarters, <laughs> you can flag it down. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, just on the other side of the viaduct. Right. Props to our taxi driver. <laughs> we will have a taxi driver, Peter, we're like, so how much will it cost you to take us to Glen Finnan? Mm -hmm. And how much will it cost to drive back again? Mm -hmm. And how much will it cost if you just sit there and wait for us for 10 minutes while we get our photo? And he's like, all oh, right. <laughs> and he's now just sat in the car park. I hope he's not eating our caramel wafers. Bloody better not be. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, uh, Scotland. Rain. I'm sort of coming out into the grassy area, <laughs> technical, uh, to, to get a better shot, but it's very boggy. I'm very glad I don't have my Converse on. That was a good decision. And it's raining. but it's beautiful.
This is Peter, our amazing Glen Finnan taxi driver Yay. that made that made the viaduct shot possible. When you're in when you're in Fort William, hire this man. Bye <laughs> 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 bye. Okay guys, thank you very much. Take care. Okay. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So status update, they've cancelled uh, a number of the ferries, There's, they've cancelled From where to where? Uh, from Malig to Armadale, uh, they've cancelled the 130 and the 320, but we're supposed to get the two. But okay. I, I know I'm worried that that's not correct, so we might want to check to see okay. what one is running. Weather it says reason, weather conditions, so it must be choppy weather. It's so frustrating, this is really bad information. The CalMac website says the following ferries are cancelled, but it then doesn't tell you which ones are running. Trevor's the best. I need to go. Oh, sorry. Because um, we're running late. Here I am complaining about the late running train, not really. And I'm making the train even later by lingering on the platform. Go, go, go! Thanks, Malik! Bye! Tickets acquired! Tickets acquired! That was all too easy! Tickets acquired! I've only ever been on the ferry once before and it wasn't from anywhere in Britain. So this feels very new and exciting. Man with the t-shirt, man with the t-shirt, man with the t-shirt, man with the t-shirt, man with look at that, it's really, really, look at that logo. Oh, you Hi Jeff, thought you're going to ski in the sky. We're in sky, it's fantastic and we've been met by the wonderful Mark, hello there Mark. Hi, uh, Mark, you are local to sky, you brought us to Ancruv, is that That's correct? That's right, yeah, uh, well Which said. means the hub. It means the hub, the hub, the hub of a wheel. It, it's a community hub, it includes a shop with a post office in it, a cafe which is just behind us, a beautiful hall with a view and the possibility for expansion to do other things as well. And thanks to funding from various organisations like the Lottery, we were able to get the money together and open it on the 1st of April this year. There's also lots of local touches to the building. You were talking about the stone work that actually yeah, uh -huh. made the building. Yeah, all the stone work around about us, every single bit of stone came out of the ground here. So we've got no stone miles. Brilliant. Uh, we try not to have too many food miles in the shop, but hey, in Sky, you have to have some miles. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't eat very much. <laughs> and you are a Gaelic speaker. In fact, you're I a Gaelic am. teacher. You're yes. a lecturer at the, the Gaelic College it's here. It's on Rostig, just along the road. Yeah. Sky. Can you teach me? to say goodbye in Gaelic. Are you going to speak to one person or more than one? M you, the whole of YouTube. Ah, right. <laughs> well, well, it's the whole of YouTube. Even if it was just two people, oh, if it was the whole of YouTube, it will it will work the same. You could either say Bianach Leiv. Bianach Leiv. Or you could say Marshin Leiv. Marshin Leiv. Or you can say Cheery. Cheery. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Cheery. You picked us up from the ferry, Mark, but are you mm. happy to take us a bit further to the station? It's a long way to walk. It I think I should. If you could. It's getting a bit wet. We could, we could maybe tip you. It'd be better in the car. <laughs> okay. It's 
marked there in his car. Can you see this yellow hatched area? That's it. but you drive down because the station is on a pier because the boats used to be right next to the train station. But you could just so you have to come down. You have to come down this ramp to get to the platform. The, the cars literally drive onto the platform. But we made it to Carl of Lockhouse, and we got 13 minutes until our train. Okay, we've got a two and three quarter hour train journey from Carlo Lockhouse to Inverness. This should be the most scenic railway in Britain. But I'm worried that you're gonna see it, like us, through a slightly grey and rain splattered window. <laughs> we'll try our best. How can it be more scenic than what we had earlier? Trust me, you're about to ride the most I don't think I can <laughs> the most scenic train line. Let's just do the piano music and have four minutes of shots out the window. It'll probably work. Did someone get off? Someone got off? Very scenic. I've almost forgotten the fact that there's no trolley, lovely, because I've just been watching out the window for two hours. Hang machine, people getting on. The rusty old footbridge, hey Pillman, do you want that? And in the distance, some mountains, obviously. That lock Lucid, the request stop. We're stopping. Someone's getting on. More bikes. We're approaching Column Bridge. It's an old station, reopened in 2013. The platform is about 15 metres long. It's one of those where only one door of one carriage opens, so we just need to show just how ridiculously short it is. The train is off the platform here, and it is that long. Whoa, that is... That is... That is quite short. Have, have we got a couple of minutes here, did you say? Oh, then we got to go, 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 go. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. No problem. That brings to an end. Uh, did you, I had to check, check, but it's been a long day. It's been a long day. That brings to an end Wednesday. Yeah. The most stunning day on the railways in terms of scenery even though it was grain raining. <laughs> but it was still beautiful. Let's we'll start again next year when it's sunny. I just realised that, well, the last few days is, it's also been true, but I am now the furthest north in, <laughs> in the UK I've ever been. In your entire life? Yeah. Very exciting. The proper north is still to come. Woohoo! Bye. the scenery working out for you? <laughs> it's pretty good, right? <laughs>